Hi everyone! I just wanted to show off Kriya. It's a game by Siege Games. I helped kickstart it last year, and now it's in beta. So let's check it out. I'm going to create a new world here, and that's going to take a little bit of time. Let's just start on the test world. I'll go ahead and create a new character. You can choose between male and female right now, though in the code, you, and you can, I'll talk about scripting later and you can view the scripts, basically the code just says, a female is a male, but with female body and like, must have hair, but we can check that out later. So you can create a simple character, uh, you can have a mole or glasses, color your clothes, we confirm. Okay, so here we are started off in Korea. Now it looks a bit like Terraria, and really I'm not familiar with Terraria that much. I have a copy of it that was a gift, but I haven't played it that much. Um, but you start off just chopping down trees and mining and all of that. You start off with a makeshift tool. Now I've played more Minecraft than Terraria, so that's more of my frame of reference here. But you have a randomly generated world. You can choose between small, medium, and large. Um, there are enemies that are around even during the daytime. Just different types. They drop all sorts of different things. Um, you start off with some magic skills, which I am bad at aiming far away. You also start off with a healing spell, which is pretty useful. Oh, I don't have any torches, so that's not very good. Um, and really, let's see, the first thing you want to do as with anything else is, you know, chop wood. Here are these crystals which you can use to travel to other crystals around the world, which are usually in different biomes, and, oh man, these guys are not very good. Okay, so you can collect these crystals here that grow around the, the big crystal and teleport. Um, different types of trees. This tree will is a marshmallow tree and will give me marshmallow seeds. So let me just uh, kind of move out of the way. Oh yeah, here's some little pots. Maybe we can find some useful things. So I picked up a marshmallow seed, a way shard, some oil. Uh, the oil will be useful for making torches, so if I open up the crafting um, I need to make some lumber first, then I can go ahead and make a torch. I'm going to set a torch and then also assign my digging tool as the secondary thing, so I can just use the right click. I can go down here and check these out. I think I can just right click on these and open them. Eh, maybe not. So. Let's get back to the surface, or, eh, let's, I don't want to dig that way. Can I jump? Okay. So with the crafting system, you start off with almost nothing, just some very basic things, makeshift tool, wooden club, and a research desk is the first thing you really want to build. And as you collect more items, you can research them, it'll take up one item per researching, and say for example researching wood will let you discover doors and walls and all sorts of different things. Then you'll um, like say research iron ore and that will give you your iron ingots and all of that. Um, so I, for the research desk I'm gonna go ahead and do this just as a sample. We need six pieces of paper. Oops, I typed in a three. That's really weird. Okay, I'm like typing in six, but the max is... Uh, so this needs to be fixed up a little bit, um, because if I try to like delete the one, it just goes back to one, so it makes it hard to enter a number like 20 or something, but I mean, it's in beta. Things will be fixed up. Um, I need a feather, and I think I can get that just by harvesting some more trees. Maybe not these trees, we'll have to see. No, th 
those trees didn't give me what I wanted, so let's go to a different biome. So another thing that is, I think, unique about Korea, I don't think that Terraria has this, and uh, I know that Minecraft doesn't have it, or at least, you know, I played Minecraft a lot more uh, when it was still in alpha, but anyway, let me cut down this tree and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. Okay, so we have a feather. I can create a research desk. Just craft it, and then I place it right here. And then, oops, if I click on this, we get a little research guide. I can click on materials, and that guy is going to attack me probably, maybe? Okay, you stay up there. So, these are the materials that I currently have. Um, you can see a progress bar, so if I research wood, I can research basic items, and it will give me um, more progress each time until I just have nothing else to research on the thing, and that octopus guy is attacking me. This is a really bad idea. So now I have everything that this wood can give me. I've found about leather and the furnace and um, bucket helm, and this is a purple hat that I made from modding, and I will talk a little bit about that in a second. Um, so, beyond researching different things, what you can do with all these items, which I've never actually seen acorns before. Did I plant that? I have no idea how to plant it. Um, another thing I've noticed is I don't know how to actually destroy my items, so sometimes I try to get rid of excess weapons I don't need anymore, and uh, that hasn't worked out so good. Man, go away. Now, as I attack these guys, either through magic or just um, using, you know, brute force with my club or whatever weapon I have, I will level up. Okay, so that's what I was wanting to talk about earlier. If I click on traits, I get arms talents, arcane talents, divine talents, gather talents, and craft talents. So these are related to just physical attacking with a weapon. So the more I do that, the better I get. I can increase defense, agility. Um, I haven't unlocked any of these yet. I've only been around level 10. Arcane, which I find it's a lot, it takes a lot longer to level up my arcane because there's the cooldown and I just don't use it as much unless I have things far away I want to attack. But you have different elements and those go down. Um, I'm not sure how nice these get as you go on because again I haven't leveled them up that much. Divine is mainly healing and protection sort of spells. Uh, healing takes a really long time to uh, refresh, so I haven't. I'm still like level one in healing, and on my main character. But then gathering, you'll level up a lot, and crafting, you'll level up a lot, just kind of by playing as a newbie. It's very easy, and you can um, upgrade your speed, the power of your tool, and of course you can get better tools and stuff as well. Your crafting, um, as you craft things, this is just a. Uh, standard kind of strike wood club has plus three attack sometimes it'll have hp bonuses or other things so as you get better at crafting you'll get better quality items so that'll be similar to uh, diablo where you have a bunch of wood clubs but they all have their own attributes okay so i'm gonna lock this squid guy over there i'm gonna enclose myself in this cave for a moment while I show you modding. So I haven't done a whole lot with modding yet, I've mainly just created custom items, but I'll show you how easy it is to do that. So in your program folder you have mods, core, and you have all this stuff. All of the modding is done with Python, so you have you can do more complex things, which I haven't really gotten into yet, and there's not a whole lot of documentation yet. But there is some. Um, so let me open that up with Genie. So you'll get something like this. Um, player created, handle water physics, uh, just 
different sort of thing. Hit tile. So maybe you could go in and modify how, uh, maybe you can go from just hitting one tile and modify this so it hits, you know, a 3x3 three three grid. Um, there is like character information, so we can look at the human male. Now it says .ce, but these are all Python files, but the special um, CREA, CREA, I don't remember what the E stands for, but scripts for CREA. So you can kind of check these out. Uh, what I'm gonna do is let's just go to items and let's make something wearable. So um, I've already done a few of these, but let's go ahead and just make another hat. So I made a purple hat earlier. Um, let's take this bucket for instance. Um, don't open it in Genie, put it in GIMP. So I'm going to export this and name this green bucket and name this one green bucket icon. Now back in the folder we need to have something with the same name so I'll make a copy of another script and call it green bucket open with genie now we'll change this to green bucket green bucket and it's set to currently want two pieces of wood we could add more uh, level one to create level one to wear some of these have more sophisticated requirements like if we looked at um, let's check out some of the weapons so if we looked at some of these oh that doesn't have a script yet artisan broadsword needs a gold ingot and a ruby and you need to upgrade from another item and you need to use it at an anvil you need to build out an anvil so you can have um, a lot more requirements but since I've been modding and I've just been adding really simple requirements just to make it easy so I had to reset my game to get it to work now we'll see that I have all these other items because oh man this guy's coming okay don't disturb me I am working I've made some other mods before so this time let's just research wood for armor and that should give us the oh wait we have green bucket or maybe that just now showed up so I can go ahead and make a green bucket craft it I can close that and under equipment I can put it on and now this guy's coming to bug me but now I am armored with a green bucket Okay, he does not seem to be very aggressive. So never mind about okay. that. So this is me. I'm getting stuck on my door. Um, so I haven't had any problems until I started creating new characters. Now my hotbar has completely just stopped. It died. Um, it'll take me a while to get everything back sorted. So this candy cane is a weapon I made. It's just a clone of another weapon with some modifications. It's a little bit stronger than um, what I was using before. I also made the Bob Maddock, which is completely unfair. Um, so this is a mod I made. I just color swapped a, a Maddock and I gave it a thousand power. So now I can dig in, like right away. Um, not waste a lot of time digging and all of that uh, because digging is not the most fun thing in the world I mean in general I just it feels tedious in every game unless you can like dig up a bunch of things at once yeah. now see I don't even have to waste time cutting trees I just do that and it's gone now of course this seems a lot like cheating but what this kind of reminds me of is back in the days when you could get a game, either like from a magazine or just download it somewhere, and it was written in basic or whatever, and you could go in and actually like modify the files so you can actually like win the game, change your stats and all of that. But this is even more legitimate because, I mean, it's part of the modding system. 
Um, so, you know, the mod files for your standard armor and all of that are in there. Um, another thing I noticed, let me get through here so I can get to my front door of this place. My un unfinished cabin. Now, ah, that is another thing that I hope that they change and I'm probably gonna make a list of like either little bugs and their how I how you can reproduce them or whatever else but usually I will try to like kind of feather my movement if I'm trying to be careful like for instance right here if I wanted to try to attack from afar I would try to get up close to the edge and attack but when I feather my movements I end up doing the dash run and then usually it only happens the times where I'm trying to be really careful and I end up dashing off the side of a cliff instead and getting hurt. Anyway, so what I was gonna say is that is a workbench and not the research bench. Okay, so let me look at these. So some of these I do not have the full recipes for and that's because I have not picked up an item that is used to make these enchanted breaches. Um, either I haven't killed the right monster or I haven't researched that item yet, but I've been trying to research everything that I pick up, so I just haven't killed something or fo found where this item is. Uh, now, you can also kind of get around that just by opening up the scripts anyway, so let's say we have some nicer armor. So we have a studded vest. Here I can already tell that we need silver ingots, leather, fang, and catalyst, so that's the items I need to look for. But I mean, I don't really have any complaints with that. I That seems like more my play style, but I'm sure some people kind of like to discover things just through trial and error and just being completely new to a world, but uh, usually I find that a little bit frustrating. I like having recipes for things. Also, rock monsters and pigs hurt. So let me just uh, run away from these guys and I'll show you one last thing. This is a rock guy spawner, so I'm gonna try to get rid of it. Cause it's on my house. Oh, and the rock guy came here. Good, okay. So, you'll notice that this is a impactful candy cane. It is a, an item that I modded. I also made the little sweater and the hood that I'm wearing. Is that still named hood? Yeah, I guess I forgot to change the name. It's actually supposed to be like holiday cap or something. This is my Bob Matic. And then, let's see, uh, I also made a Yuna costume just because I thought it would be interesting to make. And again, I just did the sprite work, created a new item, and then there you have it. I am a Yuna. Whee! So if you're interested in this game, um, you should vote for it on Greenlight because it's up there just waiting for enough support to get put on Steam. And if you want to play the beta, you can go to SiegeGames.com, click on Kriya, and through the Humble Bundle store you can pre-order it. And at the time of recording it's $10, but usually it's $15. And, um, I think it's going to be a little bit more expensive once it's finally out. There's also an IRC channel and a message board, so uh, if you want, are interested in the modding or just in playing the game and talking to other people, that's here. Also they're looking for translators, so that's under mod I think. Mod development, mod help, translations. So yeah, if that looks interesting, check it out.